I'm pretty sure I have a video in my um, playlist. My, uh, I think it's just called my dive gear playlist, and uh, I talk about reels. I definitely cover how to use reels in um, my cave diving stuff. So let me just go through the three kinds of reels that I have in my possession. Uh, possession. Uh, there's lots of different models and different brands, and they function slightly differently. Um, so this is a, what's called a primary reel. So this is an exploration reel. Um, exploration class reel. There's actually ones even bigger than this. Um, this holds 450 feet of cave line and this is what I would use if I have to do a, a big long run to get to where the cave line actually starts. So in very very popular caves in the sense of um, uh, there's snorkeling area, there's cavern diving area. Typically the cave, the, where the cave actually begins, it's cut back like hundreds of feet um, just so that the tourists don't get sort of tempted to go into the dark hole that is the cave passage itself so we have to run like big long lines and you can see here it has a reel on it or it has a handle like a dial on it that you can turn uh, which um, makes this a a reel uh, this one here it's called a gap a, a jump reel essentially from the main line so as i'm going so let's say i'm like many many hundreds of feet um thousand feet you know like a kilometer into a cave line let's just say there's a branch like a jump off of the main line and um and it doesn't matter how far it is but it's not physically connected so it's not teed in or wide into the main line i have to use a jump reel and basically um following one of the golden rules of um, cave diving maintaining a continuous line to the surface uh to my exit is i would attach this to my main line put down my reference arrows so i know which way is the exit in complete blackout then um i connect the main line to the jump line and down a side passage that I want to go to go explore or whatever. Um, I think the, the most number of jumps I've done in a cave is like seven, like to do, like I have to connect, I have to carry seven of these things to connect to where I'm going to go. So this one here, uh, so this is, so those are reels and this would be a spool. A spool doesn't have any handle on here to wind. Uh, so what I have to do in order to use this is I have to actually dip, it gets deployed simply by pulling the line out and then to put the line away I basically uh, just take the line and just uh, spool it up kind of like a spool for like a threading like a thread like sewing thread spool so um, yeah there you should always have one of these they call safety spools um <clears throat> this one here is actually called a reach gap spool it's actually meant to connect like tiny little gaps but you should always have a safety spool so you can look for ways to get out of the cave